Hey guys, what's up? It's Isaac, and today I'm going to be sharing my testimony with you. Um, I feel like I've been kind of neglecting to share it. Um, it's been kind of a year now since I've been making videos, and you know what? It, the timing's right. I grew up in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, um, in the middle of the Great White North. Some called it Winter Peg, and it lives up to its name. Um, I was born um, in Winnipeg in 1999. At that time, I had two older siblings, an older brother and an older sister. Uh, I was the baby of the family, but that didn't last for long because I had uh, another brother coming along the way and then another brother and then a sister and then another sister and then another sister. And if you've been struggling to keep up, yes, that is eight children all in all and we were all homeschooled. Yes, you heard that right. We were all homeschooled. That means I never went to real school until I was 18 years old when I went to university for the first time. There's so many stories from the years of being homeschooled, but I'm going to save most of them for now. I grew up in a Christian household, and I can remember many times, and we'd have a daily routine of sitting around and reading the Bible and talking about it and praying, and that was incorporated right into our schooling. And my parents really showed us a real and active faith that they had and that they um, really encouraged us to pursue our own, f you know, faith with, with Christ and with, um, you know, with Christianity, really learning about it. And, and I think, um, you know, Jesus was brought up many times as a kid. And I can remember just hearing about this guy, this guy named Jesus. Oh, he was a baby, and we talk a lot about him being a baby on Christmas. And, oh, Easter is about him rising from the dead. And, wow, that's kind of crazy. At the age of six or seven, um, I came across a cassette tape. It was a kid's audio drama called Patch the Pirate. Um, it was kind of all about this crew of kids and kind of this mentor figure patch the pirate and they would go on adventures I'm not gonna explain too much of it because you can look it up but I can remember there was one um, episode where one of the kids wanted to become a Christian and patch the pirate was like okay I'm gonna lead you in this prayer and I don't remember much from that prayer but I do remember um, him saying God I want you to reign in my heart Jesus reign in my heart and as a six, seven year old kid, <laughs> I went um, to the back of one of our couch chairs in our living room because I thought that was a good place to pray. And I said, God, can you reign in my heart? And that was it. And I didn't know exactly what happened then, but as I looked back, as I got older, I could see that was kind of the moment where I um, became a Christian where I put my faith in Jesus when I was around 11 years old um, I can remember my my brother coming across a ministry called Living Waters Ministry and they had a television program called uh, The Way of the Master and um, it was all about evangelism and one of the questions they'd ask um, in those videos in that television program to people they were witnessing to was would you consider yourself to be a good person um, and that was the same question that my brother posed to me at uh, one dining room conversation um, at the dinner table. So my brother asked me, would you consider yourself to be a good person? And I said, yes. Internally, I thought this was one of my greatest qualities. I tried to do my schoolwork. I tried to, you know, not get in fights. I tried to do my chores. I tried to be, uh, take initiative and do everything that needed to be done because I wanted to be a good guy. I wanted to be moral. I wanted to be um, obedient. I thought that's what God wanted for me, to be obedient, to be moral, um, to do everything I was supposed to do so that God could love me, or at least that's what I thought. I thought I was good. I was really prideful on the inside. To continue the story, um, my brother ended up showing me this ministry, uh, Living Waters Ministry, and introduced me to the television program. And in one of the episodes, they talked all about the Ten Commandments and really um, highlighting the verse, Romans 3.23, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And I'd heard this verse before many times, but now actually in the context of understanding God's law, and actually understanding what they explain is that, look, none of us can meet God's standard of perfection, of goodness. All of us have lied, have coveted, have not loved God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. 
we've all fallen short. I've fallen short because we all fall short of God's perfect standard because we've broken God's law. He has to be a good judge and punish us. And that punishment is hell. But that's where Jesus comes in. He came to this earth fully God and fully man without sin. And he lived a perfect life, a life that we couldn't live, that I couldn't live. And he died on the cross, a death that I deserved to die. But he didn't stay dead. He rose again and defeated death. He took our punishment on himself. And we are saved by grace, through faith, not of works, not of being a good person, not of trying harder, not trying to do better. That's not what's going to save us. Because at the end of the day, we can never make it up to that standard. But it is Jesus alone who can save us. I definitely heard this before, but this time it clicked. I'd never truly understood what it meant to repent. This idea of turning from sin and turning to God. That was revolutionary to me. It was during this period of life where I can look back and say that was when I truly came to repentance and faith. Some might say I rededicated my life to Christ. All I know is God saved me. Exactly when that happened, um, I'll leave that to him. From then on, I wanted to truly know God. No more going through the motions, no more pretending, no more kind of putting on a good face to seem like a good person. No, this was about being real, being really passionate about following Jesus. I wanted to know God because I love God. I wanted to obey God because I was already loved by God, not to earn his love. I wanted to serve God because I was so thankful to him for saving me. And now I wanted to serve him and I was eager to expand his kingdom. And that's my passion to this day, to see his kingdom expanded, to be a witness for him, to disciple, to continue to follow him passionately as I walk this course of faith with other people, bearing one another's burdens as we seek to honor God and serve him on this earth. That's my passion and I pray that's your passion as well. And if you have not come to that point of repentance and faith, I just want to urge you today to do that to come to that sense of sorrow over your sin. Ask God to say, God, please convict me of my sin and draw me to your side. I'm sorry for sinning, but I ask for your forgiveness and put my faith in Jesus Christ. Like that is where we can find true hope and where we can find true connection with our creator and have a personal relationship with him and where we can be forgiven from our sin and escape that wrath to come. That is an amazing gift of love and acceptance that God gives us. Don't reject it. Thanks for watching guys. And if you're new to this channel, my name's Isaac and I'm really passionate about creating content that encourages, inspires, and challenges you to follow Christ. And if you want to help me continue to make content and do this, uh, please support me on patreon.com slash daily underscore disciple. I also want to just thank the people that are already supporting me on there because that is humongous. It is my goal to be doing this full time and be able to really build something to encourage and inspire the next generation to follow Christ. So that is my goal. If you want to help me out in that, that's how you do it. Please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel because we put out new videos all the time, Mondays and Thursdays. Follow me on Instagram at Daily Disciple Ministry, putting out new content out there all the time as well. I really appreciate you guys and I hope you have a wonderful day. See ya.